Howe, I'm founder of GeoTots, and I am very used to talking to three-year-olds. So, <laughs> so um, GeoTots is dedicated to connecting kids with nature because they can't always play outside. We do understand that kids um, at a very young age are spending a significant amount of time on screens, and we found that parents, caregivers, educators, homeschoolers, and there's a huge audience out there that really wants that quality content to be educational, engaging, and based in science, filled by fun. That's us. So the problem that we're solving is that, uh, as I just mentioned, kids are spending an enormous amount of time on screen. Um, ideally, yes, they're outside playing in nature. That's what we all want. But we're recognizing that that's not the case. There's an enormous amount of, uh, of uh, content out there for kids that is not quality. It's not based in any kind of reality. The American Society of Pediatrics recommends now that if the kids are on devices, um, there have, it needs to be some kind of real world content. So for us, we want to be the basically the Sesame Street of nature and science-based content for parents and we'll be the go-to brand that really gives parents confidence that what the kids are learning um, is actually quality, fun. They won't know it's educational, but it will be. We consult with leading scientists um, to make sure that all of our flora and fauna, body parts, really a thoughtful approach to making kids entertainment so that the kids kind of absorb this information. Um, it gives them a love of science, they don't know it, love of nature, they don't know it again, but it definitely develops um, an important aspect to them as they grow up. So in this photo, I just want to point out, this is kind of a typical scenario for a mom with many kids. She's got to have, she wants to have quality time with one, what are the other ones doing? So we're, we're that solution, so there's this, there's this problem. Um, we also uh, just want to talk to you a little bit about devices in general. We all know that they're ubiquitous at this stage. Peace, two minutes, what? Okay. Um, and um, we, we recently were invited to, to partner with the California Academy of Sciences. We were there for six weekends, and obviously science-loving families are our people. We were validated, we met uh, what we're calling nature ambassadors uh, from all over the world, and a lot of people locally here are really, really thrilled with what we're doing. People are thanking us. Uh, we're focusing on toddler STEAM, which is you know science, technology, engineering, art, and math. For toddlers, it's a separate uh, kind of approach, but it's still very, very valid. Um, and uh, there's a huge market for this actually now. And uh, believably, there's it's not a crowded space for science content-based apps. Our Tokoboka is my sample. They've made two and a half million in 18 months on their little, uh, their little lab um, app. And also, we are definitely media agnostic. We'll go wherever users are. We're, uh, we're a content company, not a tech company. We know, I've been in tech forever, we, we know how to use smart, existing open source and, and pre-developed um, templates to do what we want in the gameplay space. So our team is um, brought together with people that have passion for what we're doing, but also we're, very, we're, we're a profit, we're a for-profit company. So don't, don't put a lens on, oh, kids and apps, that's, that's really not us. We're definitely about making money at the end of the day. Um, so I've been, I raised a, was a hiring manager with a, a gaming company right when the app stores opened in 2008 with a $10 million soft bank investment. I grew a team, um, we made successful apps. Um, and our illustrator, Chuck Whelan, is a very successful board, board game designer and illustrator. We've got an active science teacher with Helena Carmina. Um, we've got public relations, we're ready to roll. We need capital to implement our marketing strategy. And our developer, Laura Tollerty, is, um, has her apps have been downloaded over a million times on the app stores. So we definitely have a go-to-market strategy. We're just making, we're just, right now we're waiting for capital to expand. We've got one product on the market called Be Amaze, and it's mazes that teach um, the, the different roles that bees play in the beehive. We kind of went with the lowest hanging fruit. Bees are awesome. There's a lot of buzz about bees. It's on the App Store now. And we produce in Corona, which is a multi-platform development tool. So we produce in one environment, and they can go out to all the stores and do web development, obviously, later. So I'm kind of covering all the bases here. I think it's, uh, to me, it's pretty obvious. I've been in digital video, um, digital marketing for a long time. Uh, organic and paid, viral and PR, traditional print ad buy, digital ads, social media channels, um, editorial uh, reviews, native advertising, which actually costs money. And uh, so we, we have those bases covered. We just, we, we need the capital to expand. We're working on our update right now for our current product. And uh, that's us, digital toys connecting kids to nature. 
I'm Janae Howe, I'd love to accept your questions and meet anybody afterwards for a collaborative or otherwise uh, conversation. Thank you.